fan of the fight fans, it's your boy JB Trap House Boxing back again with another video. Hey man, check this out, man. Uh, I am so excited and pumped up for this Terrence Crawford versus Kel Brook fight tomorrow on ESPN. Make sure y'all tune in, man. And your boy will be going live on this fight, so y'all make sure y'all tune in for the fight. Hit that notification icon bell so you'll miss the live stream that your boy gonna be going live. Hey, I know it's been a long time, but I will be live, lit, all that. Watching my man, my number one man, Terrence Bud Crawford, get busy against Carol Brook. But uh, before you do all that, though, uh, make sure you hit that, uh, jab that notification uh, icon bell, jab that like button also, and jab that subscribe button. You know what I mean? So you don't miss none of this stuff that your boy dropped. And uh, share the video as always, man. Uh, and I'm going to leave the link in the description box if you'd like to donate to the channel. Uh, I'm going through some things with the monetization. Uh, I got to get some things sorted out. So the link will be in the description box, uh, Cash App link. You know what I mean? It's ca uh, Cash App, the, uh, Cash Sign, JB7474. So you can also feel free to do that if you would like to. Be cool. But uh, nevertheless, uh, let's get into why we're here. Uh, I've seen a video. Uh, they was talking about the uh, Terrence Crawford versus Carol Brook prediction with Dominic In Ingram, Tundee Jai, and uh, Spence. Spencer, uh, I, f I don't know his whole name, but the guy was over there in the UK, ex former fighter. But uh, they was, you know, doing a little breakdown prediction, and and uh, former former Carol Brook trainer Dominic Ingram was. Uh, they asked him what was his what was his you know his prediction of the of the fight, how how he see the fight playing out, and uh, Dominic Engel pretty much said that uh, he could see the fight. Well, he said if 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 the only way he see Kelbrook winning this fight is if if Kelbrook get Terrence Crawford up out of there early. Now that which was kind of alarming to me, and and he also proceeded to say that. If, if he doesn't get uh, Terrence Crawford out there early and if Terrence Crawford can get him on his back foot, push him back backwards, he says Terrence Crawford would most likely win the fight that he wouldn't uh, he have his money on Terrence Crawford to win the fight. And he has uh, Terrence Crawford as the favorite to win the fight. He said he loved Kell Brook to death and all that, but uh, he said that's the only way he pretty much seen Kell Brook winning the fight. So uh, I will leave the, the uh, link into the description uh, to the video. It's called Stamina for Sale with those three guys on there. But uh, yeah, which is interesting, man, because you know, uh, from my knowledge, I don't think they had black blood. I just think that the way Dominic Ingram broke it down was saying that, uh, that you know, the reason why he's not training kill because, you know, he didn't want to risk getting sick, doing all the traveling and moving around. and you know, et cetera. And uh, Kel had to go his way. He, you know, he maintained doing what he was doing. But let's get into what he was talking about. Uh, now, basically, he kind of, he just pretty much laid it out like, you know, that that if, if, if Kel Brook don't get, don't get Terrence Crawford out of there early, he's not, he don't have a chance to outbox him. So it kind of shows you what kind of faith that he, you know, has in his old former fighter. And, you know, hey, you can't too many people really argue that. We we don't know if it's bad blood or if he's telling the solid, you know, the solid truth, which is the majority of the world gonna think it's, uh, you know, feel that way too, as far as skill set, you know, skill for skill. But uh, you know, it's just uh, basically, you know, saying that Terrence Crawford, you know, is gonna outbox him if you don't get him out of there. And he said that if Terrence Crawford pushes him back, which is gonna be interesting to see how Terrence Crawford uh you know, uh, get, gets in this rhythm and, and, and if he's able to uh, implement his game plan and force Kell Brook on his back foot, you know, um, if that's, you know, part of the plan, which I truly believe, so I don't know what's part of the fight, how soon it will be, whatever the case may be, but he was like, uh, Kell Brook don't fight real good off the back foot, and which he is pretty much correct, that, you know, Kell Brook is not really that good off the back foot. Kell Brook is really more dominant when he's coming forward. You know what I mean? Coming forward offensively mode. And the thing about Kell Brook, he don't come forward throwing a jab. So, but 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 he 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 cuts the ring off with with feints and just you know pretty much 
bringing this pressure coming forward, imposing the size. But as far as backwards, when, when you press him going backwards, he's very, very defensive. And, and his defense ain't that great going backwards. He, get, he gets hit a lot going backwards uh, also. You know, very, very, uh, like I said, reluctant to let his hands go. He likes to uh, hold, you know, and uh, try to reset, especially when he's on the ropes. When you can push him against the ropes, he, he's he very, very vulnerable at it, on, on the ropes. That's where you can really have a lot of good success with Kell Brook on the ropes. But, uh... But yeah, I just thought of that it was kind of a little alarming, even though, you know, so, you know, a lot of like I said, a lot of people that watch boxing like that that know Kell Brook knows those some of his vulnerable weak points. But as a former trainer, I just didn't think I don't know if that was kind of proper to just throw it out there the way you just gotta go listen to the interview and, and see how he said it, you know, like you know, it's like like he really didn't have no faith in this boy, you know. All, only under those uh only under those circumstances, you know what I mean? If you don't, like he said, if you don't knock him out, get him out of there, or, 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 or get a stoppage, or a TKL stoppage early in the fight, you know, he just said he pretty much got Crawford winning this fight, man, to a uh, to a decision, you know? So he, he didn't really say too much about the eyes that I can recall, but like I said, you gotta go back to the video, check it out, and come to your own surmise on that one, but uh, maybe I missed something out, out on that one. But uh, y'all let me know what y'all think. This your boy, JB Trap House Boxing. Holla at y'all. Hey, hey, cold, brave, beautiful. I know what to do with you. Said I'd leave you alone and be brave like the Nationals. Wrapped up in the game, had to fasten up.